Hello, my name is John Watts. I'm a consumer protection lawyer in Alabama. And I recently had a question from somebody. They said, look, I've been sued on an auto deficiency. So they had a car, it got repossessed. Maybe they owed 15,000, it sold at repossession for five. So now they're being sued for that deficiency, that $10,000. And they said, look, I just I can't pay it. Will the company accept monthly payments because I don't want to file bankruptcy? And so my response to this person, I thought it would be useful to put in a video, is, well, first of all, figure out, is this the original creditor, the car loan company suing you? Or is this some debt buyer like Velocity Investments, Cascade Capital, or any number of these debt buyers that claim to buy these car loan deficiencies? Because it makes a big difference. It's a whole lot easier to win at trial if you're dealing with a debt buyer than if you're dealing with say Regions Bank who made you the loan and they repoed the car and now they're suing you. Those are two totally different situations. And then second is nobody has to settle. Okay. So if I get sued, I don't have to settle. The person suing me does not have to settle, but most people are interested in settling. So while you cannot make the car company or the debt buyer, if you choose to pay them money, you can't make them settle. But most of the time they will, if you're talking about making some type of monthly payment. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. They generally want these things paid off two years, maybe three years. So if you're sued for $10,000, you say, okay, if I pay two fifty dollars a month, what's that, $3,000 a year times three years is $9,000, okay. Maybe I got to pay three hundred dollars a month. That's $3,600 a month times three years. So see, we're a little bit below three years. And you just have to talk to them about that. And also keep in mind that they may want to see your financial information. And sometimes people go, no, 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 they're not entitled to that. I'm not going to give them that information. That's outrageous. Well, think about it this way. You're asking them to take a monthly settlement rather than getting a judgment against you. So if you're asking them for that favor, it's okay for them to ask you, hey, let me see your financial. How much money do you have coming in, going out? Now, if you don't want to give it to them, you say, I don't want to give it to you. And they may say, that's fine. We're not going to talk about a monthly settlement. So just be aware of that. Final thing I'll mention to you is they may want what's called a consent judgment. And that's where they literally get a judgment against you. It's a consent judgment because you agreed to it. You consented to it. And then they'll say, but we're not going to execute or enforce that judgment. In other words, a garnishment or a bank garnishment, wage garnishment, putting a lien on your house. They'll say, we'll hold off on all that until you break your agreement. Now, if you want to agree to that and you're representing yourself, that's fine. I'll tell you this. When we represent folks, we never agree to those. It's kind of like you're being punished before you commit the crime. Why put a judgment against me when we've got this settlement and I haven't broken the settlement? So we just create a settlement agreement that says, hey, if we don't make the payments, then you can go to court and then you can ask for a trial or a judgment. But we don't want a judgment entered right away because that can mess up our credit reports. So just some things to keep in mind, you know, find out, is this a debt collector or a creditor? Think about how much you can afford to pay. Think about from their side, how much will they be willing to accept? Generally, if you're making monthly payments, they want the whole amount paid. Now, if you're doing a lump sum, it might be half the amount is paid or 75% or whatever you and the company can agree to. And just be aware of that consent judgment thing. So if you live in Alabama, if you have questions about being sued by uh, a debt collector or a car loan company for a deficiency, and you're wondering, do you have defenses to it? Can they prove their case? Can you successfully beat them in trial? Give us a call, 205-879-2447 or you can reach us at alabamaconsumer.com. Thanks for watching this video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.